What is going on guys, Quality XA here today bringing you guys a brand new Destiny 2 video. Now today we're going to be talking about the Iron Banner, we're also going to be talking about the firm being confirmed to actually be returning in the next season. So uh, yeah, let's get right into this. So first up, the Iron Banner. So Iron Banner as well as Increased Valor is actually beginning on Christmas Day, December the 25th and is ending January the 1st, 2019. So really awesome. You guys can see we've got some of the brand new armor here and I have to say the armor this time around, the colors and the way that they have been presented looks absolutely incredible. All gear sets look pretty darn neat. I really love the Hunter and the Warlock. I don't use Titan too much, but I'm certainly be looking at getting all of these gear sets for all of my characters. They look absolutely phenomenal. Next up, we do have some of the weapons that are going to be on offer, as well as a new emblem and a new shader. So it does say bounties will function as they did at the end of Season 4 granting powerful rewards and unlocking rewards for direct purchase from Lord Saladin. Double Valor will be enabled from December the 25th through to December the 28th, followed by Triple Valor from December the 28th through to January the 1st, so definitely worth playing that Iron Banner, especially if you want some powerful gear. And now guys, we're actually going to be talking about some of the more cool stuff. So we're actually going to be talking about a weapon that's returning in Joker's Wild and a brand new exotic returning in Penumbra. So jumping into this, as you guys know, Anon the Nine is a notorious leaker. He told us about what subclasses we'd be getting when the game first come out, as well as the subclasses what would first come out during the actual Forsaken and some of the variants of exotics, all of the ornaments, all of that kind of stuff he has actually leaked and he has been 100% correct to this date. Now he actually says, I don't know how it will be introduced, but yeah we will have Rose in Penumbra after Fawn will be brought back in Joker's Wild. Now the Rose is actually a pre-version of the Fawn I do believe. There is lore which you can actually check out this weapon, but I don't know too much about it at this point in time. But yes, we have a new exotic known as Rose and the Fawn actually returning in Joker's Wild. Now we do actually know that there is some stuff in the database which indicates that the Fawn quest could be starting at some point in this season actually. So you guys can see on screen now some images from the database which actually show a Titan helmet which has actually been shot by a fawn bullet. We've actually got two other artifacts here by the looks of it. One of them looks like it's not charged up, the one in the middle looks like it's been charged up and possibly links to the fawn. You guys can actually see here we have got the quest for this as well and it says a new jagged purpose. You found a guardian's helmet penetrated by a unique bullet. The artifact was part of a hive ritual tied to their efforts to perfect the weapons of sorrow, but that helm you found only one thing can cut for a guardian like that. We may be too late. New weapons may already be in play. The Drifter. You guys can also see that we've got two new missions here known as the Damnation. So the artifact is calling to something dark. Uncover a dark ritual on Titan and stop the twisted ceremony. And then you've got the co conversation. Enkar, the Hive Weapon Master, is hiding in Hellrise Canyon in the Tangled Shore hunt him down and now that's a solo player activity. You can also see the weapon he's actually using resembles the fawn as well. The end of the weapon looks very fawn like and he is the weapon master so again does indicate that we could be going and getting the fawn or the start of the fawn quest through this. We do also know that this quest could possibly link us to a different exotic but we'll just have to wait and see about that. Let me know your thoughts in that comment section below and obviously the quest name, A New Jagged Purpose, does lead us to believe that it is going to be linking us to the fawn. It is also worth knowing that we do have some of the quest steps here and it does actually say on the quest complete, the drifter is disturbed seeing the last word in your hand, but he is endlessly intrigued by the high weapon you uncovered. He offers a quick warning about trust, then brushes it all off with a laugh. There is still much to learn about the weapons of sorrow. Hopefully, the trust you've placed in Drifter will lead to new understandings. So obviously that is a big hint towards the fawn in my honest opinion, but it does look like 
January the 29th when we do actually obtain the fawn. Uh, the last word, sorry, is when we're actually going to start the quest for the fawn. And we do know that the new season does actually start shortly after that. So, um, yeah, this looks like it could be the quest start on getting the fawn. And then maybe when we complete getting the fawn, there will be another quest start linking us to the rose weapon. So pretty awesome. Moving on, I did also want to say some of these stuff in the database. So you've got the Armory Forge Shell here, as well as the Platinum Starling. Now these apparently can drop from some of the Black Armories. Uh, very awesome indeed. If you guys know anything more about these, please let me know in that comment section below. I did also want to say there is some emblem variants in the database as well. Now you can't actually get the base uh, ones to actually drop but these are some of the variants and they do actually have triumphs linked to them. So if you guys wanted some of them, you can search up the triumph name and go and check out how you can get them. But pretty awesome indeed. And then last but not least, we did get this from DMG. Someone actually asked him why there's triumphs that link up having multiple characters or actually things like fire teams. Now we do know that the game is filled with solo players, so you guys can actually leave him some feedback, maybe putting in solo triumphs, what he can actually go and put in the game, or just give some feedback in. So make sure you leave some feedback with DMG. But that's pretty much the video, guys. If you enjoyed, a like would be much appreciated, as well as subscribing if you guys are new around here. But as always, peace out, and I hope you enjoyed.